So I just saw The Avengers. Six out of ten. You'll all love it, because you, you'll eat this shit up. You will all love it. But I didn't love it. And uh, you could say it's for subjective reasons, but once I'd see so many of the same action scenes over and over, I'd become desensitized to it. Not the same in this movie, but they didn't really do anything special with it. It's still enjoyable, I'm just never going to see it again. I, I, It was worth my money. But at the same time, you know, like, when there's a giant fight scene between the Avengers and a whole bunch of enemies that are all the same, they're all fighting the same enemies, and yet the, the ones that could die from being shot by these, like, whatever laser things that the enemies have, they don't get hit. You know, Iron Man gets hit. Only the characters that will walk away fine from it actually get hit. The ones that would just disintegrate, of course, don't get hit. Uh, the Incredible Hulk... I liked Mark Ruffalo as the Incredible Hulk, or just the Hulk. I don't know what the... Well, I'm, uh, and uh, I did not see the Edward Norton one, but I really enjoyed Ed, uh, blah, Mark Ruffalo as uh, the Hulk. Uh, especially the first half of the movie, I thought that he was the shining star of the first half of the movie. Um, whereas, going on to the second half of the movie, even though they established him as this, like, you can't control his anger. We're just bringing him along because we're crazy and kind of like to be destructive and we'll, it'll probably work out. Uh, then just during the second half of the movie, he's like, I'm going to change into the Hulk. And then he just works fine with him. He turns into a Pokemon. They're like, go. And he's like, Hur! and then like just cut the camera towards the Hulk and just roar. Like once you forget that he's there and, you know, he's he turned into comic relief instead of actually being something interesting with conflict. I, th I was kind of expecting near the end of the movie that maybe they might have to deal with the fact that they couldn't control him, but try to use it towards some sort of advantage, maybe, like, trick him into hurting the bad guys. But no, he became obedient like a little fucking Pokemon. Uh, nothing particularly special about the music. The directing was good. What did you think, Daniel? I thought that it was funny. I liked Edward Norton as the Hulk better because Edward Norton is awesome. And the CGI in the Edward Norton version of the Hulk was cool. This was kind of like the first Hulk movie. And I really don't like the Hulk. You're done. I'm done. <laughs>